Hello and welcome back to SMT5. So, we've got a lot of stuff we need to do today because we're going to go off and get some of the DLC moving forward. We've got another fiend to kill and we've also got to go and get some of the other DLC quests. And then if we've got time, we'll cross the bridge and see what's over there again. So, let's do some leyline crossing. So, first place we need to go is Tokyo. Why are we going here? Well, there isn't actually a quest here. There is just a little bit of dialogue that we've missed. So, let's start by going here. So, let's see what this person has to say. Probably isn't going to be a lot, but hey, it's worthwhile uh, seeing what they say. Hello. Speaking of which, I thought it was bad enough that demons were invading our city, but now we've got some nut job with a katana raiding our lab too. This Yakumo. I guess he wanted the demon summoning program. Stole some devices from a batch made f uh, meant for the self-defense forces. They all had it pre-installed. What's he really trying to achieve, though? Hmm. Interesting. Have we met this person before? I don't know if we have. Anyway. Let's lay line crossing back up to the diet building. Let's go. And... Let's speak to you. Hello. Hello? Hmm. The demons have finally made their assault. We have to find a way to restore the barrier, and fast. Alright, you have a lot to say. Anyway, um, next place for us to go is going to be a little bit more uh, exciting. I believe that this is where we get the quests. So, in this area, you will now see that all the way along at the end, we have more people to talk to. And I believe it's the lady down here and to the right that we're going to speak to. But before we do that, let's see what all the other dialogue is. What is it? Hello there! Our team often goes to and from the netherworld in order to stay appraised of the situation. Wow. Okay. Yeah, really didn't have a lot to say. Hello. Yes. Even with guards around, I don't feel safe being in another world full of demons. You know, that's fair. Especially when you're wearing your Oculus Rift. It, it must make it hard to uh, know what's going on around you. Hello. Hmm... So this is the real Tokyo. It's been long since destroyed. I still can't believe it. And last, but very much not least, you. Yes? It's nice to meet you. I'm a Bethel researcher, and I belong to a team that collects information on the netherworld. My task is mainly to compile the intel the angels bring back, and relay said information from the Japan branch to other branches. I've heard about you. You returned from Da'at along with Awagami, correct? <laughs> oh, pardon me. Tossing around a word like Da'at wouldn't make much sense to you, would it? Da'at refers to the netherworld that you wandered into. The angels referred to that netherworld as Da'at, so we followed in suit. By the way... I, I know this is out of the blue, but if you have the time to spare, would it be okay if I asked you to help us out with some things? It won't be too much, but occasionally some things happen that we can't handle. That's why it'd be wonderful if you could help us out. It's only if you have the time, though, okay? Alright. And then we yes. talk to them again. H Welcome. How have you been? I know it's not my place to say this, but please don't push yourself too hard, okay? What will you do? So we have the offer assistance option now, which I believe then triggers a bunch of quests open. But I'm going to talk first. <sighs> I would have never imagined in a million years that our Tokyo would get ambushed by this many demons seems there's even been some who have been taken by demons. It's quite worrisome. I wonder what happens to the people who get taken. You're the only ones who can fight the in Da'at, so we're counting on you. I'm sure they must be worried, so please rescue them as quickly as possible. That's all yes. of our conversations done, and now we go into the offer assistance. <laughs> Thank you. There's actually a case we could use your assistance on right now. Yes. One of our ace researchers, Dr... Suichi Nita has gone missing. The last we heard from him, he said, I'm gonna go meet Mephisto. Dr. Nita is most likely here in Da'at. We'd like for you to find him. Other than that... Yes. This doesn't have anything to do with our Japan division, but Cleopatra, who represented the Egyptian division, seems to have been dismissed and ousted from Bethel. We received reports that Cleopatra has been seen in Da'at. We'd like for you to... Assern this. Other than that... Yes. There's been a large magical power surge detected near Tokyo Tower in Da'at. And well, since there's no one who could uh, go to find out where this reading is coming from, we'd like your assistance on this matter. 
Please speak to each of our staff that is in charge of the matter for more Goodbye. details. Well then, I'll leave the rest to you. And then you see the three staff we spoke to before become quest givers. It's all very straightforward. Have a second? Hello, let me explain the situation with the strange reading. The reason we want you to investigate is because we don't have much information. Hmm. Based on the report the angels gave me though, the reading is probably from a goddess. There shouldn't be any danger. If the goddess is in trouble, she is probably going to need some help. Yes. Go to Tokyo Tower here in the Daat da and assess and handle the situation. Sure. <laughs> Thank you. I'll be counting on you. Okay, up here. Hello. Do you have a moment? Hello. I'll go over to search uh, for the doctor who's going to work again. Dr. Suichi Nita was a member of the Protofine development team who also took part in creating Awagami in recent years. He is currently missing. Though he appears to look young at first glance, they say he's been with Bethel since before the war. He's quite mysterious. In recent years, it seems like something was bothering him. Maybe his personal research wasn't going well, but just the other day, his face was absolutely beaming. Hmm. He said, I'm gonna meet Mephisto, and after that, he vanished. You know how dangerous that is, so I'm gonna... So I'm sure you know what I'm asking of you. Please, find the doctor and bring him back. Sure, why not? <laughs> Thank you. Right. Based on the information I got from the angels, Mephisto was spotted in Dat near Camiacho. Be careful. Find the doctor and bring him back. Good luck to you. Okay, and then over here. Yes. Hello there, let me explain um, how we want you to go after Cleopatra. Bethel was created in order to preserve this world made by the Creator. As you can see here in Japan, the gods of various countries and their followers were defeated by the Creator, then made to serve them as the different branches. Excuse me. Among those branches, the Egyptian branch is quite complicated. Cleopatra was in charge for a time, but was recently dismissed. I don't know the details, but it seems she couldn't control the members within her own branch. Now, having been chased from the Egyptian branch, Cleopatra has cursed every demon of Bethel. Cleopatra was sighted here in Day. Da in Da'at, near Mita. Do you mind? If she does hold a grudge towards Vessel and intends to do us harm, we have orders to eliminate her. Locate Cleopatra, find out if she carries any malicious intent, and if necessary, take care of her. <laughs> Thank you. I'll be counting on you. Cool. So we now have three new quests. Uh, do quests have a recommended level? We have a new analyze? Really? Who? Uh, boss? Wait, what's our new analyze? Am I crazy? I, I just can't see it. I'm now being very slow, just to try and check. Oh, there we go, Fornius. There we go. Fine. He would have ice attacks if we were to face him. Okay, that's fine. Uh, quests. There isn't really a recommended level, no. I, I didn't think there was, but that's okay. And they all give you bombs. Okay. So a big reward, actually, for doing them. Uh, okay. Um, well, Tokyo Tower is one that we could definitely do. Now, our other one is Return of the True Demon. Return of the True Demon, um, we can actually just go to the next fight for as well. So, that's good. Right. We're going to leave out this way. Um, and then hopefully there's a save nearby. If not, we'll just return to the previous save. I just don't want to really do that. Just because I wanted to avoid a loading screen. Although we're going to hit one anyway, so I probably should have just done that. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, it's just loading in our original area. We're going to save, and we're going to see what's at Tokyo Tower. Yeah, so the save is over this side, I think. Cool. Also, nothing outside for us to worry about. Wonderful. Right. Oh, hello. You got something new to say? Oh, it's you! Hey, hey, are you going to take me w with you? Are you? Sure. <laughs> Woohoo! We're hitting the road again. I'm going to do my very best. Yep. Oh, okay. That's kind of neat. So if you come back here, you can have her with you again. Oh, that works for me. All right, let's chronicle our deeds. Um, which is basically just talking, but that's fine. Right. And then, let's lay line crossing. Um... Which one are we going to do first? Oh, I do want to go in here. Oh, Mita's also here. Oh, we should probably have a look at that one as well while we're in the area. Um, So Tokyo Tower is that one. Kamiocho. Oh, they're all in this area. Okay. 
I see every single thing we need to do is in this area. All right, let's go to Mita first then. I don't know which one is the um, second of the fights we need to do. That's okay. So which one was Mita? For quests. Uh, Cleopatra, Eliminator if needed. Oh, also I probably want to have a slot in our party free just in case we can potentially um, like recruit. Is Kelpie basic Kelpie? I think Kelpie might be base Kelpie. Yeah, I don't think we fused Kelpie. Also, I think I maybe skipped the Kelpie lower from what I was told. I missed two. I will get them um, probably soon. You know what? I Never mind. I'll get them now. Let me just uh, get this up here. And then we'll get... I just need to find the comment which said which ones we missed. Kelpie, I think, was one of them. The other one was another one that we got very recently. All right. Which ones did I miss? I missed... A Kelpie and oh, um, Isaka. Okay, well, we'll do this one first. Um, there we go. Lore A fairy of Celtic folklore that lives by the water and takes the appearance of a horse. They often drown those who attempt to ride them, but if tamed, they can be valuable mounts. See you later, Kelpie. Right. Uh, then, what I want to do is I want to go into Analyze, find the one that's all teeth. Where's all teeth, man? Wait, we don't have it? Was my save before we caught it? That would be classic. We really don't have it? I think my save might be in before we caught it. No, we fused into something, didn't we? Don't know why it's not in our Analyze. It might be in our Analyze. I might have missed it. Okay, well, whatever. Welcome. Hello. I just need to go to my companion for 10 seconds. Don't 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 worry about it. Uh, I'm looking for yeah, there we go. Teeth. Never mind. We did get it. Cool, cool. Lore. A type of demon in Hindu mythology that arises from the vices of men, such as criminals, drunkards, and adulterers. Known to feast on the flesh of corpses, it is said that they can possess a human by entering through their mouth, where it will then plague them until it is driven away through magic or medicine. It is also said that anyone who looks upon one directly is guaranteed to die within nine months. All right. Well, that's terrifying. See you later. Return. Right. Now we're going to turn around and see Cleopatra. No doubt. Here? You can faintly hear the voice of a woman from inside the bus. Go closer. Yes. <sighs> Who is there? What is it? Who are you? Wait, I've heard rumors of you. You're from Bethel, Japan. Correct. After everything I've done in service of Bethel, this is the treatment I get. If it weren't for me, everyone would have been condemned, just like the rabble of Babylonia. And yet, not only have I been cast out, but Bethel sends an assassin after me. I should have expected as much. All that effort I spent sucking up to them when they're impossible to please, and they don't even acknowledge me. <laughs> I've had enough of this. I'll kill anyone who tries to get near me. That's right, I'm done running and hiding. Now I'm going to kill you all. Yes. And I'll start with you. Alright, what level are you, Cleopatra? Ooh. Nice music track. Or at least a start of one. Okay. Let's start with a simple thing. What level are you? 61 Here. Okay. I am not in a position to do this fight. She's going to destroy us. Okay, pass. 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 Talk. It seems they have no intention of listening. Um They're only weak to dark, huh? Do I even have a dark move on us right now? What does it matter? It's gonna kill me. Aramasa. We got a crit. Okay. Um. Lower defense. 
We're, we're dead. Like, I, I'm already aware we're dead. I'm just, like, delaying the inevitable if I do anything. Hit me. Kill me. <laughs> really? Okay. Let's change out. Uh, anybody have a dark move? Uh... You do? Okay, that's cool. We have one dark move between our entire party. That's the one who's already out. Nice. Okay, well that's fine then. Um... Dark gem? Take this! Yeah, it's not really gonna do it, huh? Um... Hellish spurt. To me. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, cautious cheer. I think we've lost, but I'm gonna keep going until it's guaranteed. What is our chance of inflicting poison? Let me just have a look here. Uh, it resists, but we have better poison, so maybe it won't resist. Was this one, or is all stats to a minimum? Poison. Missed. Well. Yep. Pretty much saw that coming. So. First quest. Cannot do because we need to be level 61. We'll just uh, remember that one for later then. Shall we try quest number two? Uh, Sure. Let's try quest number two. Right. Oh, I'm all the way back here. Well, that's fine. I didn't really do much. I just read lore after this and destroyed Kelpie. Talkie of that. Hi, Kelpie. Right. Next one. Uh, Do a quick jump to... I don't know, which one are we going to go to next? Oh, there's somebody to talk to in here, actually, in uh, Hamamatsuchu. That's interesting. Um, anyway, let's go. You know, let's go here. I'm interested who wants to talk to us. Is that Mermaid who wants to talk to us, maybe? Oh, no, it was this way, right? Yeah, it must be Mermaid who wants to talk to us. Hmm. Okay. Oh, it's actually the person on the bridge. Never mind. What do you have to say to me? Hello. The mermaid lady came back. She looked a lot happier too. I thought she looked real pretty. Okay. Fair enough. Over here. Back to the save. You know what? That's fine. We'll, we'll just teleport over. I'll chronicle deeds so I don't come back here and go, Hmm. What's going on with that? Right. A little chronicle. A little ley line crossing. Let's see. Next one is Tokyo Tower. Wonderful. Oh, and somebody to speak to here as well. Hello. Well. Who are you? Oh wait, I should give my own name first before asking for another's. True. I am Artemis. I'm a goddess of the moon and the hunt, and a daughter of the almighty Zeus. I came here because I heard that someone had, sl uh, had slain the Hydra. I assume it must have been done by the demigod Hercules. I don't know where he is. Might you have an idea of his whereabouts? No. What, you said it was you? But you look nothing like Hercules. Oh, that's not what you meant? Huh? That's not what you mean? Wait, you were the one who slayed the Hydra? But you are so thin, your body isn't even close to that of Hercules. I find it hard to believe you. But now that you mention it, you do have the presence similar to that of a demigod. I suppose looks can be deceiving. True. Hmm. If it's true that you were the one to slay the Hydra, then you must be a skilled warrior. Hmm. I'm looking to gain strength enough to unite this world and end its suffering. Naturally, that calls for a strong partner to train. If you are a warrior, then you should also have the eyes to gauge the strength of your opponent. Yes. Therefore, I have a request of you, Hercules of Japan. 
I want you to find me a powerful foe that will serve me in my training. Fear not. I don't intend to leave you searching blindly under such vague guidelines. Well... The truth is, I've heard that a demon called Quetzalcoatl has just appeared nearby. True. Okay, Quetzalcoatl, and find out if they are truly powerful. I mean, travel these lands, there is no one better equipped to handle this task than you. I trust you won't disappoint me. Um... So they're usually level 50. Ish. Okay. Well, it's Chronicle Deeds. At least we didn't die. That's a positive. Um, where are we? Um, map? Where is nearby? Is that nearby up here? No, that's the other quest. Maybe that's... Oh, that's Quetzalcoatl right there. Okay. That's fine. Let's uh, go back in here and do a little ley line crossing over to the next one, which is going to be uh, Camiacho. And then this way. Dodge these two. I think it must be in here, right? Yeah. Oh, it's actually up a level? That's fine. So this is uh, Mephisto. Okay. In here. Hello. You can hear voices. Will you go closer? Of course. I finally found you, Mephisto. Why, hello. It's been some time, Dr. Suichinita. I'm glad to see you got my message. Huh? Never mind that. Where? Where is it? Is it true you have what I'm looking for here? A, pr a producer of artificial life, a proto-human? I traveled to Germany and studied under a famous professor just to learn about it. Then he passed away. My old age, I couldn't complete his research. And that's when you showed up. This is true. Indeed, I struck a deal with you. I would return your youth for as long as it took for you to achieve your goal. <sighs> But no matter, but no matter how many protofiends I created, his heart was never human. I want to create a protohuman, complete with a human heart. But Mephisto, you've called me here again. It must be because my wish has become a reality, yes? So where, where is it? Hmm? Don't fret, Doctor, you'll get what you want. In fact, it has just arrived. It's us. Uh, hey! That... The Awagami model protofiend fused with a human? This is true. Precisely, the protofiend Awagami fused with the soul of a human, a perfect being. Ah, ah, a human and an artificial body joined in a perfect union. Is the power of creation finally within the grasp of humanity? Hmm? Ha ah, ah, ha ah, ha, that it is. By placing your real human soul in an artificial body, the a true Pyoto human has been created. Of course, this level of power now rivals that of a god. <sighs> but I failed to mention so many times. Why now? <clears throat> a mortal is no different from a demon. It isn't difficult to create a being without a soul. However, to go from mortal to a human, a soul is required. Harnessing the power of a god is no easy task. That is why it was necessary to prepare the soul in a different manner. Huh? I see, so that's why. A soul that even God cannot create. That's why I couldn't find the answers. <sighs> but as time passed, the goddess of fortune smiles upon you, Doctor. Thanks to your creation of the perfect protofiend, it has attracted a matching soul. <laughs> Uh, uh. This is true. Lucky you, Dr. Suichi Nita. He has granted your desire to see a proto-human. <laughs> the dream I staked my life on at long last. Beautiful. You're absolutely beautiful. Your hair is so long and blue. Hmm. Likewise, I'm glad to see that my efforts to help you have also paid off. Now then, since your desire has been fulfilled, I expect you will fulfill your end of the contract in turn. Huh? The contract? Oh yes! Soul? The price was your soul, and now I shall be paid in full. Young man. Alpax, this isn't good. Our mission is to take the doctor back with us. Fool. 
Silence, you synthetic filth. Hmm, your soul seems un it seems usable as well. I shall take that too. We're gonna die to Mephisto. Um, what level are you? 79, huh? Well, Ruinous Thunder! Ruinous Thunder! Well, I tried everything. Uh, poison. Well, we're dead. Uh, we're, we're just dead. I'm just gonna wait for him to kill us. <laughs> All stats up. Wonderful. Wolperkina. Wolperkina. Oh my. Well, we're dead. Wolpokenact. What a name for an ability. Okay. Um, it must mean you lose. At least that's how I'm reading it. Um, okay, well. That was fun. Uh, those are the three quests that we got. I assume that they're level 50, 61, and 79. Because we kind of know what Quetzalcoatl is. Although, you know what? Why, why, why leave it unknown? Let, let, let's, uh, let's, you know what? Let's go kill Quetzalcoatl. It'll be easy, no problemo. Just gonna walk over here, destroy it. it. Won't even be an issue. There you go. See, it's tiny, barely a challenge. Look at that. It's just a normal wee enemy. Barely even killed us. Barely even killed us. It's actually only level 34. Oh, never mind. This is actually possible. Um, I didn't really think that it was gonna be possible. So, uh, well, let's defeat it. Spyglass. This will do. Um, weak to electricity. This is very possible. Uh, medium fire attack's annoying, but apart from that, we're fine. Uh, let's start with a heal. Right. We're gonna use Cautious Cheer. Loa, can we apply poison to this thing? Uh, let me have a look. I never actually checked. Resists it, so probably not poison. Um, how about this one? Okay, we could use Rakunda. I think our best option is actually... Yeah, it's actually probably one of these, right? Yeah. Cool. Let's see what it does. Yeah, it's very annoying given our current party setup. Okay. We're a Mostly alive. Right. Do we have somebody who's immune to fire to bring in? We have resistances. Uh, all right, you're immune. That's good. Let's bring you in. Your turn. So the nice Go. thing about bringing in somebody immune to fire is that will mean that you can only use one attack when he does it. Heal. Here. Nice. We're still not in a terrible situation. Cautious cheer. That buffs everybody. Feng Huang doesn't actually need as much of a buff because he's immune to a lot of what's going on. Medea's okay. Yeah, let's do Medea. Right. Resists it. That's fine, we can Medea. Okay. Um, let's start with Ruinous Thunder. Ruinous Thunder! Okay, that was fine. Uh, you're gonna go for lowering its defense. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna lower its defense. Uh, actually I'm gonna... Uh, ooh, uh, uh, cautious cheer. There we go, that's fine. Let's go for a heal. Yeah. 
I just want Cautious Cheer on for another turn. Ruinous Thunder. Good. Anahita. Let's go for Rakunda. Right. That's fine. Yep, that's still fine. Yep, thanks to Feng Huang, we live. Um, I just want to check something. Alright, we, we, we can't talk to it. Just wanted to double check that it wasn't like one of these ones where we were meant to talk. Right, hit it. That's fine. We're going to do a big heal. We're looking for a good turn to attack. Uh, cautious cheer. Right. Feng. Do a heal. Right. Ruinous thunder. We're getting there. Uh, and then you're going to make sure that his defense is lowered. So, we're just looking for one good turn. That's it. This is our turn. Yeah. We, we attack this turn. I know it might look a little bit risky, but I think it's not. Right. Critical. Watch this. Now we're going to start laying into it. So, let's start with Ruinous Thunder. Anahita, uh, do we have any elect gems? We like shards, but no gems. Uh, Hellish Spurt's probably fine. Yeah, this will be fine. If it hits. Which it does. Okay. Sure enough. Uh, let's use an elect shard for you. Cool. Bang. Uh, Nor's affinity resistance and pierces through. Not necessary. Hmm. Still might be your best move though. Wind breath actually could do some good damage as well. Uh, let's go with this. Only does 50. Okay, so probably not our best move. Runa's thunder. Um. I think this is a self-heal situation. Probably don't need to do... Well, you do need to do another heal. Light Shard. Followed by uh, Medea. Okay. That was fine. We did damage to it. That's really all we could ask for. It could kill us here. Didn't. Okay, that's fine. That's all we needed. A little bit of luck there. Ruinous Thunder. Down to half HP. We need to keep the uh, buffs on and the debuffs on, ideally. You need to heal, though. Uh, keep our debuff applied. Okay. AoE heal. Ruinous Thunder. I'm actually looking here. Does this need to be reapplied? Yes. Okay. Keep it on. Hopefully we don't die here. Uh, could die to an AoE. Gathering Magatsuhi is fine. We probably just want to guard. Although Siren-Up would die if we just do full guard. Hmm. We need to guard. Because otherwise we die. Anahita. I want to heal. I think Anahita's dead, but I want to heal anyway. You're going to guard. Feng Huang actually doesn't need to necessarily guard. Oh, you know what I could do? Uh, do I have a fire dampener? Do I have a fire dampener? Uh, force dampener would be interesting, though. Let's force dampener. Now we know it can only use one attack. It could still kill Anahita, but that's fine. Oh, use poison. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. No, no issue. Uh, let's go for an Amrita Soda. Here. Here. 
followed by a heal. Let's think about this here. Feng Huang, I want to live. Yeah, okay, let's do that. We'll use Cautious Cheer again, because we can't afford to not have the buff on. And then I'm going to use an AoE heal. I don't have anything to get us an AoE heal. I'm going to use Medicine here. That's fine. I actually don't care if Feng Wang really lives then. Horrible crit. Absolutely awful time for a crit. Okay. Uh, Amrita Soda. Here. Right. Uh, you need to heal. How much does, uh, you don't have enough for Cautious Cheer right now. Chakra Drop. There. Uh... We're not getting back rounds. We could do a heal. Okay, heal. That's our best option. Right. We're almost... Hey, we're Max Magatsuhi. Hate that. Fire would kill us. That's horrible that it died because we invested into it. Right. Um, we got someone we can change in here. Matador is probably fine. Anyone else have, like, an electric attack? Uh, no. Not as such. Not as such. Could lower its attack with this, I think. Yeah, okay. That's not a bad option either. Could switch you in to lower its attack. What are you weak to? Yeah, uh, you resist um, force as well. We're going to lose the buff, but that's okay. Nice half turn. Heal. Um, now, we are losing our buffs right now, but we can actually... Um, what's this one? Oh, no. Let's not worry about that. We can get a similar effect by lowering its attack, which is nice. Nothing for you to do. Hmm. Uh, could try that. Chance of inflicting ailment. Stronger ailments prioritized to all foes and lowers all stats by one rank for three rounds. Hmm. Okay. Let's not worry about that right now. I think I'm going to pass. Um, followed by... I could just guard. Let's guard. The wrong turn for it, but let's guard. Accuracy evasion's horrible. Although we actually do have accuracy evasion ups on, which kind of works out for us. Yeah, let's go. Let's go, criticals. You ready? We need to walk, watch out for Yakshi Ni. In fact, I should probably just not attack with it. Um. Oh, that would have been horrible. What we needed to watch out for with it is that we don't um, miss with that character, as that would be very bad. Elish Spurt. Could use an electric one. Could just attack. Let's use an elect shard. Cool. You're just going to lower its attack. It's not the best turn we've ever had, but it'll work. Uh, I'm just going to go for a basic attack here just to trigger another turn. I'm, I knew it wasn't going to do damage before we went in. There we go. Uh, you are going to hit it with an electric. Well, we could do a heal this turn. We could We could also lower its start lowering its defense. Let's lower defense. And actually, let's lower its defense again. Feng Huang. Could try this. I kind of want to keep her heals uh, available, though. Just attack it. Cool. We're getting there. Nice block. Okay. Solid turn. Uh, Ruinous Thunder. We'll then do a heal. 
You still don't want to attack, uh, so a lower attack there. The reason we still don't want to attack is because we got an extra chance of missing. This attack probably should have passed turn, actually, in thinking about it. Ruinous Thunder. Uh... Yeah, apply that for another turn. That gets blocked. Okay, fine. We can AoE heal our way out of that situation. Ruin this thunder. Anahita. Uh, let's just use a uh, let's use a shard here to trigger another turn. There we go. Last turn of Lord. Um, Accuracy here, and then we can start attacking with this character again. To be nice. Uh, AoE heal. Very good. Feeling great about that. We also have just enough MP to get another one if we wanted it. Right. Um, Elect Shard. Okay. In fact, I think we do want it. Keep these buffs applied. It's going to die next turn if things work out the way we want them to. Perfect. Not a worry. We block it, so therefore it's fine. Ruinous Thunder. Yeah, it's dead. Hit it with Hellish Spurt. Perfect. That wasn't too bad. Unexpected fight that we could actually beat, and we beat it. We got Vitality Bomb. Right. Um, which we're going to immediately just, you know, have. Increasing our Vitality. Great. Okay. Oh, new Analyze as well. Uh, for Quetzalcoatl. Where are we? Quetzalcoatl. Um, there we go. A little bit of lore. An Aztec creator deity known as the Feathered Serpent. He is identified as the sun and is also known as the god of wind and giver of breath. He is said to have cre uh, created humans by sprinkling, sprinkling blood on the bones of people from a previously created world and acts as a guardian of their fertility and culture. According to legend, the planet Venus is actually Quetzalcoatl's heart. Hmm. And we know that this one only drops Vitality Bomb. Okay, cool. Um... I'm assuming that Quetzalcoatl is kind of like a series staple, so I'm assuming that um, that's just the boss, if that makes sense. And then like Artemis is the real reward for the end of this, but we'll see. Um, that's fine. Uh, I will pay the money to raise everybody. Right. Also, like this is the only time we're ever seeing this party layout. Feng Huang, actually very overperforming per for level. Eight levels lower, still fairly good in the fight. Loa is doing less well than I th would think, but that's because we've only been fighting like things that are classed as bosses. So things that have the resistance to everything. Which is kind of the worst point for Loa. Loa would do a lot better against enemies that were um, not counted as bosses, but still strong. Um, so, we'll see. Like, for instance, the ones for the Golden Dragon quest. I think that um, Loa would do much better there. Right, Tokyo Tower. And then, let's have a little chat. Hello. Hey! Ah, it's you! Hercules of Japan! What did you think of Quetzalcoatl's strength? You reported to Artemis on Quetzalcoatl. <sighs> so you defeated Quetzalcoatl. That means they weren't a particularly formidable opponent. That's unfortunate. Won't do me any good if they were not at least as powerful as my father. Or perhaps if the real Hercules were here. Yes! Hercules of Japan, if you happen to meet the real Hercules in your travels... No. Wait, if you slew the Hydra as you so claimed, then perhaps you would be suitable. True. Hmm. Let's find out. I ask that you face me. Understand this is sudden, but speak to me when you are ready. Th th this is the real fight. Alright, what level are you? Well... Hercules of Japan, are you prepared? No. Take aim. Then here it goes. We're gonna get destroyed. What level are you? 37? That's beatable! Hey! Beatable. Let's use a spyglass. Here. 
Weak to fire. Not the best one. Also, my god, how many abilities do you need? Also, unique. 15 weak physical attacks to random foes? Uh... When I said beatable, I might have been um, optimistic. Cautious cheer. Loa, I'm going to need you to hit a poison here. Miss. Okay, well, fair enough. We are screwed. Right, change in. Um, Feng Huang, probably. So, he has a fire move. Mm, Agilal, Fornius. You are added to the group. Your turn. Go. Uh, why is your special? Buffs and debuffs are twice as uh, twice as effective. Okay, Agilal. Missing that, not great. To be honest with you. Right. We're alive. Just about. Right. I want to just try hitting this and seeing how much damage we do. Let's see if it is possible. I suspect we probably need to wait like another six levels, but let's try it. As you allow. Yeah, okay, we need to wait. We're not doing enough damage. <laughs> Just straight away, that is not enough debt. That, that's not doing it. Yeah. It's a very tanky enemy. Poison it. Probably not the best of our moves, but that's fine. Sakanagi. Yeah, this isn't really working. Uh, we could lower its attack. Okay. Then, uh... We didn't lower its defense, I suppose. Let's lower its defense again. And then, um... I still want to try and poison it. Okay. If we get a poison off, then it, we, we just win. Well, if we can stall. So, I like the I like the concept. Ashalal. <laughs> It's another turn. Ajalal. Cool. Uh, cautious cheer. Uh, we're going to swap out Loa. I'm going to try. Let's, let's, let's at least put in the you know old college try. Put in Feng Huang. Who can do some healing. Let's go. Right. Then we'll hit an Ajalal. You got max turns, wonderful. Let's go for a lower attack. Serenup. up. Uh, cautious cheer is probably our best option here. Yeah, especially as Feng Huang doesn't have the buff on it. Feng Huang, let's go for a heal. Nice. Well. That's less than ideal. Um, anyone else have a heal? That might be a big problem if we have no heals. So we have no heals. Okay, fair enough. Um, welcome to the team. Your turn. Go. Right. Fire. Lower defense, actually. Keep it lowered. Cautious cheer. Even though we're out of MP, it's still probably the best move. Um, I think you're probably best off supplying MP to Cyrano. Nice. Okay, that worked. Now, we're good with our team right now. Let's hit you with an Agilal. 
right. Uh, Fornius, um, probably self heal. Right, um, another cautious cheer. Everyone's very cheered up. Here, uh, make sure the attack is still down. Right, Ajalal. Followed by Ajalal. Cool. We're almost at Max Magatsuhi. Oh, we're going to be destroyed. Well, guard. I think it's, this is going to be the 15 strike attack, which all 15 are going to crit twice. So it's actually going to be 30 attacks. That's my theory. Let's uh, see how that plays out. Oh, it's actually Mabukula. Thanks for the double heal. Very odd decision, but okay. Uh, we need to reapply the buff. Uh, what are the debuffs that are falling off here? Uh, yeah, keep the keep attack down on. You need to keep, make sure all oh, cautious tier we can't keep applied. That's unfortunate. Uh, in which case, heal. Uh, you're gonna give us a chakra drop here. Do we have a way of getting back to Surinup? Probably not. Probably should have passed maybe to get back to Surinup. Right attack. This might be our death. Um. Fire? Yeah. I, I'm not very positive about our success chance here. Hey, a counter. Oh no. The fact we're still alive is incredible. Um Ashila? Uh Ashila? Raise our defense. Nice. Lower its attack back down to minus two. Okay, uh, Ajalal. Um, pass. Cautious cheer. Um, we're still kind of lacking, you know, the whole healing thing. Um, Keep you topped up slightly. It's alive. There's a crit. Well, that's the end. What a turn. Nice counter. Okay, um, I guess I would use an Amarita Soda if I thought that we were continuing, so let's do that. Hey, Fornius just recovered. Ah, uh, there we go. Yeah, that'll do it. Probably not an impossible fight if we have the right resistances, but, um, yeah. Not for right now, I think. We need to be, like, another, I'd say another five levels higher minimum would probably be good. That's with correct resistances. But, hey, that's, this one's kind of possible. I'm happy that we at least tried it so that we could see it. Which actually means that, I think in this episode, we haven't even reached everything we were trying to do. We need to go speak to the fiends as well, which we haven't done yet. And do the next one of those, but... 
you know what? We'll leave something fun like that for next time. Thank you for watching. I'll see you then. Goodbye.